All right, Zach, where we at, man? We're uh, we're going to the Ballistic Mystic Fair and uh, the Lee Club Elements. <laughs> There's a lot of people here. There actually, is a lot of people here. The Ballistic Mystic Fair. I've never been to anything like this. Magical and mystical events. Are you ready for what you're about to encounter? Yeah, the Holistic Mystic Fair. Here and, today. and hold on, I see you have your special earrings on for this. Yeah, pretty awesome. <laughs> so let's go see what's going on in here, man. Hello. It's $5 for Oh, that's nice. Dragon. We got a list of vendors. Who's talking? I think the circle means I don't know. Back and forth like this is yes, and left and right is no. Yeah, I think, I, I think when you're holding that. No, no. Every pendulum is different. You have to ask. It. Oh, really? And some of them just don't want to work for you at all. Like that one doesn't like me, and it's just not going to do anything. And I've tried actually almost all of them, but this is the one. Most of them don't work for me at all. And usually clockwise, if you ask it for me, usually clockwise is yes, and counterclockwise is no, and back and forth is maybe. Huh. So this one really likes me. The others not so much. I've tried several. <laughs> I think this is interesting, um, how like different points of your feet actually like connect to your different parts of your body. I think it's like on the premise that the nerves basically stop there. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You know, it's really like going down the line. <laughs> Get down tonight. I can see your spine and you're just kind of, um, you can get an adjustment, but the thing is, is that it, you're going to keep going back out because you've waited so long that the muscles think that's where they go. So the cell, you know what I mean? The right. cell memory, the muscle memory. Yep. So you've been, like you have not been corrected for, if ever, right? No, I go to a chiropractor. Do you go a lot? Yeah. Okay, then that's good. And that's good. But you see how you have to keep going back? Yeah. It's because you keep going out. You keep going out. Right. Um, I would go to an osteo myself. Okay. <laughs> I used to go to a chiropractor, now I go to an osteo. But um, I'm going to think of you. Okay. She calls me mommy. She knows she's been here. You have a smaller brother? No. I have a brother uh, type of energy. Okay that comes around you. Um, I feel like I want to go back when you were when you were younger, that this was, um, I don't know, like a, a friend, like way, way back. I don't believe that you know that he's crossed over, but he's coming in for you. Um, and actually, I want to pull your hair right now. I'm that type of dude. Like, I want to, like, razz you, and um, I'm, a, I'm a prankster. That's what it is. Um, and vibrationally, right now, you're vibrating very, very, very low. It's like, um, part of it is that there's a calmness about you, and 
I want to say serenity, and it appears that way, but actually you get quite nervous at times. Yeah. I mean, you have some anxiety things going on that most people don't know about, because you just seem like you're just in a zen type of place. Um, but what's happening is it's um, you're just vibrating very, very low. Um, and also you're getting ringing in your ears at times, right, quite a bit. Now that can be physical, but with you I do believe that it's spirit or off-worlders that are, you know, letting you know that they're around. Because you might already know this, but with the ringing in the ears, it's because their frequency is so high. Okay? And that's why we'll hear the ringing in the ears, so you'll know that they're, that they're pretty close around. And you've had some type of pretty profound paranormal moral experience, correct? Yeah. Like it was undeniable, oh, yeah. is what I'm being told. So, um, and this is kind of what, what, this is my counsel that's coming in. It's not like a loved one or anything. Um, it's Igma, my counsel, that works with me. And uh, uh, what they're telling me is that, it, it, again, it was undeniable. You know, you, you it, and, and you feel about it like it doesn't matter if I believe you or anyone in this room believes you, you know. All right. You know, and that's all that matters. Um, but that is what jump-started you in doing what you're doing now, was from that first uh, experience. And also, when you were young, um, you were very connected. You still are, but when you were younger, like if you really think back, you had a lot of undeniable experiences. And I also feel that um, if you're not aware of it, I want to encourage you to um, get more connected with nature. Because there are nature spirits that you would connect very easily with. Um, you would be one that would hear a tree, talk to a tree type of thing. Um, and nature is where you feel at home. It's just your place. Um, that's where the anxiety we spoke about, it's like a bomb. And it, it, it just brings you into that calmer place, uh, is what they're telling me. Um, and also, have you ever worked on a missing persons case or something missing or something going on with that? Okay, then don't be surprised if in the fairly near future there's something that's either missing but it feels grander to me. It feels like you're going to be involved in locating me, locating something, finding me something. Um, Okay, thank you. Um, I have grandfather energy coming in for you. Uh, it feels more to me like father's side. I feel um, like uh, I feel like you spent quite a bit of time with him when you were younger. I feel as though he really took you under the wing. I feel as though he was more like a dad to you or felt fatherly towards you. A um, lot, a lot of memories of being shown. It could be symbolism, but what I'm being shown is the two of you like walking down a dirt path, and there's a railroad track nearby, and it's like I'm just seeing you walk, and you're short, you're young, and, and he's tall, and you're kind of scuffing dirt as you're walking, and you're just having quality, real quality intimate time, very, very connected. Um, I'm also being shown a, a, a canoe right now, so I don't know if there's a connection in that or if we're going on to something else. Um, and um, also, back here in the head area, it feels to me at times like it's just kind of like a sharp shooting pain and then it's gone. Okay? Thank you. Um, part of this is physical, but it feels to me also like you've been questioning at times, like as you're, you know, you're getting in on all this and you know that there's light and there's also dark. Have you been feeling, it feels to me like you've been feeling at times like, kind of like, who the heck's around me, this doesn't feel so good, correct? That's what it is, is someone basically is going like that in the back of your head. Um, it's not like a demon dark energy or anything like that. Um, I don't deal with, you know, negativity. I work very highly in the light, especially with Igma. Um, but I just want you to know that it is real, it is happening, 
make sure you're cleansing your aura, make sure that you're, you know, you're saging your environment and all of that. Um, and also at times what's happening is it's a male energy and he's making you feel depressed. You've been feeling depressed, right? Yeah. What's happening is, is he's he's feeding off of you, he's draining off your energy, and um, basically impressing upon you. Like, remember how I was saying you're vibrating really low? This is part of why, because he's draining off your energy, and um, it really is. I mean, at times it feels pretty dark for you. You know, pretty. Uh, and actually, it's almost like. Uh, Okay, first off, let's do this. Um, I'm going to ask Archangel Michael to come in and um, we're going we're gonna to get rid of this guy. Um, Enigma, Enigma, my beloved Enigma, uh, Archangel Michael, I ask please that you come in. What is your name? Zach. Zach, thank you. Uh, on Zach's behalf, I ask please that you cut all cords um, of this, this entity that is um, impressing upon feelings, emotions uh, on Zachary and taking away his energy. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ. I love you all and amen. Um, <laughs> Be careful around the stairs, honey. Have you tripped down the stairs yet? You did, didn't yeah, you? I did. It wasn't a trip, honey. You got shoved. That was a shove. Yeah. Uh, for some and reason, I fell down the stairs and I had no clue why. It's because he shocked you. The same guy that's poking you here. Yeah. Okay. Um, and can we go to the tears right now? Please? Can we address that? Like, what are you feeling right now? Because we gotta, we gotta clear this up. If it's real personal, they can edit it out, but this is you and me right now. I don't care about any of that. This is you and me. Okay? So, let's, let's do this. Like, with intention, let's go there right now. It did, didn't it? Yeah. It just lifted. And are you, like, uh, they're here right now. Um, Igmar is all around you. And I'm going to cry now. Because, well, um, I want you to call me. Take your card. The way you pronounce it is Igma. E-N-G-M-A, Igma. It wasn't until about six months ago they gave me permission to disclose to you. All of the love and wisdom of Igma is Jesus, the Twelve Apostles, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, Moses, Muhammad, and Einstein. That's why you're crying right now. Because you're surrounded by Okay. So, after today, when you feel anything like you might be, you know, feeling that negativity again, just call them in. You know, call in Archangel Michael, call in Igma, and just ask for them to protect you. Be very aware of your thoughts, because if you're thinking negatively, that energy is just going to be able to ramp it up to the end. So you're going to have to really be in with your thoughts. And these back here, you know, the back burner thoughts, be very, very, very and replace them right away. But it's not, it's not just you. And I know at times you have felt like, I don't think this is just me. There's something not, not so good going on here. So that's part of you know, the most important thing for you is that that came through today. Because in a sense, it was kind of driving me crazy, wasn't it? You know? And that's part of this release. That's part of the emotion. But the other, the majority of it is that it has been lifted. They did so. You just need, now you've cleared it out, just like if you sage a house, right? You sage a house, but if then negativity still is happening, that energy's going to build up again. So that's why I'm using the word impeccable. <laughs>
I'd be like, shit, I'm just thinking, AJ, get the fuck out of here. Man. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I am fucking... She's like, dude, like literally, five minutes in, holding back tears, dude, like literally, like I, my body, why, like, like why, like just ev like I, like everything, like all my emotions just started building in my body, like awful. Like, do just, you just do you feeling. think that was caused by the questions that she was asking, or do you think that was dude, caused by something outside? Honestly, like, I don't care because I have not like had this type of feeling in a while. Like, I feel like there's this just big release wow nice. something like she she caught on to something dude so no matter what even if this is not truly a psychic ability it's like such a good it's tool. a skill yeah it's she, a skill it says that she's a spiritual counselor and i feel like spirituality goes with what you believe right right and you know she like she unearthed things that i wouldn't tell other people you know and like was she right about things she was right about everything really there was not one thing she was wrong about <laughs>